Hello everyone, this is Devi, Vidya Nokrajan, Rampasak from Team 5. Today we want to explain about key constant in DBMS and joint in actual. Firstly, key constant in DBMS. Firstly, what is constant? Constant is nothing but set of rules or um, set of statements, right? So in key constant, we have six types. First one is not null. So let us take an example. So by using not null statement, here email is uh, email is empty, right? So by using not null statement, we have to insert not null command. We have to add in, uh, we have to add details at a particular time. So syntax for not null is create table uh, student student. Into ID not null name text email not null. So this is the information about not null and next one is So in this table, here id is a unique value. So syntax for unique is so that, that means here id is a unique value, right? And next one is primary key. Primary key is nothing but uh, unique table, uh, unique column at a table. So here, id is the primary key. Syntax for primary key is in the id primary key. So next one is And the third one is check. What is mean by check? If the user entered so many values, right? If the values are within the range or not, to so know that if we use the check, uh, check command. Greater than or equals to 20. Like this check, the command, check command is used in the DBMS. And the next one is check all. Default. Default command is used to enter the default values in the database or in the table. If you take an example like student, for every student, the column name should be same in our college, right? So, so to enter that uh, correct uh, college name, so all the students at a time, in that case, we will use the default command. This syntax. Okay. So 
information stored in a relation is linked to the ender information for example in other words we can define foreign key as it is used to combine the two or more relations relations are nothing but the tables okay we are syntax for this to write the syntax for, for the foreign key at first we have to write the syntax for the primary key create table table name employee attributes name Answer ID as primary key because uh, the ID should not same for the all all people. So that's why here we can answer ID as primary key. And this is the for uh, reference table. And next for the foreign key child table. Same for for this also we can create. Uh, we are able to create table. Create table. Table name, for example, employee. We should take same salary in some range, etc. And here we take this ID as foreign key in the in child table. Answer of four types. Right. On the joint. All right. Three types. Are there? What? These are four types, and my friend will explain this. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Ram Prasad. I'm continuing the topic. In uh, inner joint. What is inner joint? In inner joint, suppose we take two tables. In two, uh, in these two tables, if uh, there is a common values. it will take means the inner joint keyword takes the common values in the two table next coming to these three these three are outer joint syntax for inner joint
Inner joint and uh, coming to the outer joint, outer joint having three types: right joint, left joint, and full joint. In right joint, we can see that. Right joint records the right side values and as well has common values in the two tables. The left side values and as well has common values. If there is no common values, it returns null. Full joint. Full joints uh, records the full left and right values and common values. Syntax is same, and we have to give the keyword right, left, full. That's it. Thank you.